Okay. Oh, so you we're missing it. a hole. And it could be no, that- No, hole's on the bottom, or is that just his name? I'm here. There you are. I'm here. Why, why do I not yeah. see you? Gigi, you probably had it set so you can't see people who don't have video on. Right, because we can't see you. Okay. I can't okay, see you. That's fine. I just see so your name. So let's um, start our meeting. And Jenny, thanks for getting the minutes out of the last meeting so promptly. So let's start with uh, an acceptance of the minutes of the previous meeting on January 20th. I motion to accept. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. OK, thanks. Um, any comments about them? So all in favor of accepting them, say um, aye. 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 So yes. Aye. Great. Thank you. Aye. Yes. OK. Um, before we move to the allocation of funds, uh, we need to go back to the question of, do we want to allocate funds for um, accessibility projects? And I sent out a message uh, a few days ago about um, a couple of ideas that Minna had. One was just using, um, you know, up to the 15% and then inviting people to um, get extra money. And I can't find her letter and someone else, does anyone have it handy? I saw it. Um, a few options. I can find it. Um, it's your letter though. GG. So, I mean, I, I mean, accessibility is a very large, canvas. There's a lot of different things that we need to explore. I I don't, are we going to have the time and energy this round to go back to people and then offer it to them? And what are we going to offer? Or we could also go maybe put some of the money aside to explore that, um, or maybe put together a workshop on it or something. They're, and these are just ideas. They're just. Matt um, has done some work on this in the past week. Oh, cool. So Gigi, did you have a chance to see the document I sent you this afternoon? I guess I didn't, no. OK. Because I no. haven't seen it. Um, so I guess the question that I would propose to folks, what I, what I did. Um, I can share my screen and just and just show show the document if you want to take a minute to look at it. Yeah, um, let's do that. Okay, well, I pull it up. Let me just kind of briefly say what it is. So, so I took um, quite a bit of time this week, and I reached out to different people who do accessibility work, uh, and I got quotes for how much it would cost. Just so, it just there, there's just a few categories. So, for example. Um, do it if you have a piece of art, a static piece of art, you want to have a verbal description of that piece of art, and then you want to have it recorded and accessible to somebody who's visually impaired. So I found a group um, who do who do that kind of work, and a lot of times they work with the artist to write the verbal description, uh, or they always have the artist approve it. But you know, best practice is for the artist to actually write it, um, and then record it and post it on the web and then anybody with a mobile device can listen to that recording. So I have a, I have a quote per piece from these people. Um, another example, we have a number of things that are going to be live concerts. And so music with lyrics can be done uh, using American Sign Language where they'll sign to the lyrics. But more importantly for a lot of folks is they'll do an interpretive They'll dance basically for you know for lack of a better better word they'll dance with it um, and so even music that doesn't have lyrics there are still folks out there who specialize in interpreting it for the visually impaired so that they can have a sense of what the what the music is all about so I got a quote for you know what that would cost 
um, by the minute. Um, so can you all see my spreadsheet now? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ASL 105 per hour. Wow. Okay, review so, since. Let me just kind of go down a little bit. So if I look at, um, I just highlighted a row. And this is the snapshot of a, of a shapeshifter, which mm -hmm. is a web exhibit. And that was that's going to be something that she puts on the internet. It's going to have, um, you know, probably photographs, probably some video, probably some audio. So I found a group called the Paciello Group, um, and what they do is is this: they they look at the user experience for a blind user or vis you know visually impaired doesn't have to be fully blind, um, and they can help with making it accessible for a screen reader, so that those descriptions of those pieces are things that the screen reader can access. They can also look at, look at things. If you've ever seen a blind person using um, a computer, things like where the little button is to make a video player play is very important to them. Okay. So, so he, you know, his, this group does that kind of work. Um, you know, here's ASL. Now, the Learning Center for the Deaf that you, so column E is possible vendors. These are by no means are these the only, you know, it's just who I found in a little bit of research. So Learning Center for the Deaf, they have, um, I was really pleasantly surprised. They have, I found the name of one of their staff members who does um, interpretive ASL, you know, that includes dance and such. When I reached out to them, they said, oh, we've got like seven people who do that. So, you know, name your genre of music. They'll, they'll be able to make it accessible. Um, just jumping down a little bit. This is the uh, mural at the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. so, so that's an example of where this group called Art Beyond Sight um, can do, you know, help you get the verbal description written, recorded, and make it accessible on the web. And I say using a mobile device, but, you know, there's a number of different ways that you can make that playable to, to a user. Um, just a couple more. Charlemont Forum is mm -hmm. not currently closed captioned. I reached out to them. They said, no, we don't currently do it, but, you know, we'd be very interested in in that option of either having, um, they call it CART, it's real-time closed captioning, mm -hmm. or just having an ASL sign interpreter, but they'd be very open to that too. Um, hmm. So the commission, the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf, you know, is probably your most cost-effective and, and locally or government-driven um, way to get those services. Um, and, and that's about it. I mean, so as you can see, you know, really what we're talking about are categories of categories of, of the kind of accessibility work that would be done more than you know individual case by case right um, but anyway i just i wanted to have that out there and then i i guess just a couple notes one, one thing i'll say is like best practice in accessibility is for the artist or the creator to approach the task with accessibility in mind mm -hmm. and set things up so that it's smooth right. um but the real the real world is that this stuff is is typically retrofitted. You know, unfortunately, it's often decades of retrofitting before you finally get universal design so that things are accessible. Um, so I guess my thought right now is that you know we're definitely not going to get it 100% right, but making an effort towards some accessibility I think sends a message. Uh, one person I talked I talked to probably a, a half dozen people. One of the people I talked to said you know you guys as a council, you all as a council need to be thinking about what's possible and just, you know, exploring the possibilities. And so you don't go with to your artists and say, you know, slap on the wrist, you haven't been accessible. You go to them and you say, hey, we're exploring what's possible in this realm to make your art accessible to um, disabled people. And so I, I really like that concept. And I like the idea of, you know, starting small and mm -hmm. not trying to be perfect on day one. But, right. but to make a start of it. Um, and so we could, as, as Gigi said, we could either, you know, hold back our 15% and, and, you know, pay somebody to do that work um, and, and know that we're not going to catch every little thing, but, you know, catch some of them. Yeah. We could uh, give people additional funds to do it on their own, and we could facilitate the introduction to some of these groups. Um, Mimi mentioned even doing conditional approvals you know, mm -hmm. with a promise of extra money. I, I'm not sure that I would, um, I don't know that we're ready to, to do that, but but that's one option is we could conditionally approve people for funds if they're willing to do this additional work. 
Um, and, and so I guess, um, you know, I guess there's, there's a number of, of questions on the table for us in terms of the how, but really the, the bigger question is kind of, you know, do, is this something that we want to pursue? And, and if we're trying to get our awards figured out, you know, do we want to make that final award figuring holding back these 15% um, for accessibility work? Right. I mean, this, the, the question really before us is not necessarily the absolute mechanism of getting the money out. It's do we want to allocate some money? And it may not be that everybody is going to, you know, benefit from this, but at least we could start at the top and work down and, um, you know, we could just 15% is a lot. Yeah, we don't uh, have to do all of it. We don't have to do it all. You know, we could just say, well, let's set aside $2,500 or $3,000 and see, see where that takes us. And we might work specifically with um, people who are hard of hearing and focus at this point um, just on that issue. Um, well, are, can we... Um... That's one idea. Can, can we also just um, identify maybe two or three projects that we think are particularly suited for doing accessibility, especially, for example, with signing, because that seems like a very straightforward mm -hmm. way to um, approach this and use that as kind of like uh, a pilot, maybe, mm -hmm. on a small scale. So, for example, I. I Matt, first of, first of all, Matt, thank you so much for doing all that work and research. Yeah. And tor towards the bottom of your spreadsheet, I saw that um, there was something for the racial justice rising, mm -hmm. right? Which um, if they were lectures that for which we provided funding to um, provide, si you know, signing, that that's a very limited budget, right? I mean, it could be, it's one thing that we then can, use right. as a baseline or just, you know, as, as an example, like um, you were saying, Matt, about sending a message at the council is looking at this and looking to really um, have that as, as an ongoing practice. That, so that was just one thing I saw that seemed to jump out as pretty straightforward to be able to support and a 15% for what their, their grant would be is, is a low, you know, it's a very affordable figure, I think in our overall budget too. So. Um, I don't know if there are maybe two or three others for which we can designate. It looks like um, some of the costs are $105 an hour, which seems pretty reasonable. Um, and there are plenty of programs that we've been asked to fund that really are about an hour long. And if we just agreed to allocate like $2,500, it would be terrific um, after the grant awards are made um, for those, if there are a couple of people who are really interested in this in making the accessibility package happen, they, that little group, two or three people could then just start contacting the awardees. And, 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 then, and then the people would be also able to follow up with the awardees at the end, right? And say, yeah. okay, yeah, and kind and, of have the wrap up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one, I think this is fantastic work. Thank you so much, Matt, yeah. for looking into all of this. And I think it's great to find some way to kind of kickstart this. And I, I like the number of 2,500, which is less than the 15%. It also happens to be half of what Gigi sent out of the 5,056 that's leftover funds anyway. Right. So it's it's a it's a it's a nice piece for us to do this. I do think we have to be careful at this point about making any kind of requirement of anyone. I would much rather use this fund, especially since it's not hard coded in in our guidelines for this this year that they applied for, to go out and to offer to support and nurture and inspire. And yeah, there are certain um, uh, applications that where we think you know, that it, it would be very easy to do this, but I think it's sometimes so hard to do any of these things that it's kind of gotta be like, hey, we have some some funds, first come, first serve. If you're interested, we thought that your 
program, you know, might be well suited for this and kind of wait to see who bubbles up and goes, oh yeah, that would be great. You know, that would really make a difference because I think the money is going to be best spent with groups that share the enthusiasm as opposed to going back and making it a requirement that wasn't really part of the guidelines. And we'll learn a lot. So I'm really excited about this. I just want to go gently and inspire and support and let the enthusiastic people run with it. Right. Yeah, I think that that's my instinct too, Julianne. And um, and I and I like the idea of just sort of holding back, you know, picking a number um, and holding back those funds. And I think this first year, rather than putting anything to the artists, I think that we, you know, I like Gigi's idea of just having a few of us be the um, the hub, you know, and just linking up ASL and closed captioning orgs with the appropriate folks and just calling them and saying, hey. You know, we want to offer this to you. Let's make this happen. And, and, you know, we make it happen this year. And then in future years, I think we can start to ask artists to, you know, to kind of, I mean, really the goal is always to make your art accessible early rather than late. And, and so, you know, so you don't have to transcribe your music later. You, you start with a transcript and, and, you know, work from there, for example. Robin, you had a, your hand up. You were going to. Nah, I'm so excited. <laughs> it was great. Okay, we need to. Um bring this to closure, I think. Okay, when well, um, $2,500 is on the table, it can go up, it can go down. Do I hear? <laughs> I think that's a great amount. We, we <clears throat> could, anybody that has written stuff, we could say you need to do large print. I mean, you start really small and we'll give you a little bit extra money for it. You think, and the other end, not right now, but is to also encourage disabled to support disabled artists for making art, which is the other end of this. And probably well, I would think a lot of things, but. I didn't mean to interrupt, but we no. might want. I can't, did everybody else just lose him? Yeah, we just lost Matt. Oh, okay. Can't hear you, you Matt. Signing? <laughs> oh, you? dear. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, Matt's not able to be heard. I, I also think this is a good opportunity for us, and I don't have the skill set perhaps to put together a press release at some point during the season that we're doing this. Yeah. We get some more publicity, and we can use that for the, the GoFundMe or however we're collecting funds that, hey, we're, we're doing a little bit of this with a couple of key groups. We'd like to do more. People who'd like to support access to the arts for those that are disabled donate here. Um, yeah, I think it's a great fundraising effort idea. And Matt, you're, you're muted somehow. Pro probably for the best. It might no, be the universe. We missed, I, we missed I, we're trying long. to get our final decisions made. Well, I was just going to propose, um, I think there is a motion on the table to set aside 2500 for this. And then I would tack on to that motion that we create um, another subcommittee that sort of, you know, generates ideas, facilitates the connection between artists and accessibility folks, and then reports back out to the larger group, um, you know, for approval and progress and things like that. Is that a motion that you're making? I'm making that motion. Two motions. I'll second that. <laughs> Do you, did you get enough of that, Jenny? I did, I got okay. it all. Okay, we need to vote by roll call. So I'm gonna just call names. Um, are, we, are we voting on the amount? The amount and the concept, $2,500 okay. and a subcommittee. On the subcommittee, so one, okay. Okay, Rachel? Yes. Me, yes. Julianne? Yes. Sandra? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Robin? Yes. Arthur? Yes. Matt? Yes. Okay, Cole. sorry. Cole. Cole. Me too. Oh, Cole, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, can, let's- Can I steal this spotlight real quick? I'll do it in less than a minute and a half for something <laughs> fun that's not on the agenda. Good. I have an email from the um, Pecha Kucha folks and uh -huh. um, they are just trying to bring things along and they've got a Pecha Kucha online virtual something coming up in February. We haven't really done anything, but they wanted groups to send in 20 images on the topic of 
love. <laughs> and we've got a bunch of us here, some of us who might be photographically minded. And I thought it'd be fun if we could each of us send one or two or something that we love about Amherst just mm -hmm. an image and maybe we can get enough to put together 20 slides that would go there, but then we could promote it on our social media. And even though we haven't done Pecha Kucha, it's kind of a fun thing to highlight what there is to love about Amherst and our community and our arts and cultures. And it's kind of a thing that we could share the work and then I would throw it together for them. So we don't have to finish that now. We could take it up by email, but I just thought that- there a deadline for it, Julianne? There will be, because I'll have to put it together also and get it to them. So I can send more details, but I, yep, I give just got the email on. yesterday. Great. Um, so this is to promote the Pecha Kucha, Julianne? Yeah, I can actually forward the email to everyone. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll learn more from the email. Okay. Yeah. So Great. I just, but I think, you know, to execute, if, if we can each try to send something in. And yes, I know I haven't sent in my bio or portrait, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not a good team player. But yeah. um I know you all will be. Oh, you've done your you've done your share of work. Okay, on to allocating funds. Um, how did the spreadsheet come out, Julianne? I did just send it to everyone, and um, I don't know how actionable it's going to be because we we, as far as grant numbers, mm -hmm. uh, dollar amounts, I'd say. We don't even have that for half or half at most. Oh, okay. So we can't. Okay. So yeah. And I had a question about your amounts. I think I pulled forty thousand seven hundred from the LCC site, and your email said forty thousand three hundred. So I think we've got an extra four hundred. Okay. I believe it's forty thousand seven hundred. For me to get off this committee. It's a typo. Oh, yeah. I said there's a forty. So is it forty thousand seven hundred? It is, and then in the spreadsheet that I sent out, I added in the five thousand fifty-six, and now we would need to back out the two thousand five hundred for right. the motion we just passed. Right. Okay. So we've got forty-two over forty-three thousand. Mm -hmm. Um. Minus twenty-five hundred plus. I mean, I could update it and send the spreadsheets out again. Oh, again, I, I yeah. just don't have enough grant suggestions necessarily to act on it. So let's start. Um, let's just start at the beginning. It's always and, a good place to start. And try allocating money. If my numbers were right, um, At least when I went through and totaled up how much money I had personally thought to allocate, I was way low. So I went back and upped them and I still think um, we can fund a lot more fully than we anticipated, I think. Already a lot. Gigi, you're at okay, so, so, so we can bump it up to full in the yeah, partial okay. round? So I think, yes, so we, I think we can bump a lot up. That's what I found too, when I played with just a few numbers that I saw there, that we yeah. were close to being able to fully fund a lot of things. Right, so I think let's start with that in mind. Good. Um, um, are, we, are we pretty much set, I have a question, are we pretty much set with the list, Gigi? And everyone can agree that what Gigi sent, um, that the, the list of full funded and the list of no funds or, or denials is, is accurate. Right. So, all right, I've got to admit, I missed that list entirely. Yeah, I, I didn't get that list either. I was looking for I it am, and never saw it. I oh, am it's bummer. attached to- It seemed pretty accurate to me when I went but can through someone, it, but- Shoot. Well, we'll start at the top. I. You can't, can you, can you read it? No. <laughs> Number one. I think somebody's gonna have to share a screen. It's yeah. just gonna have to happen. Um, so, I don't know where this is that you're sharing. 
Um, uh, it was an attachment on one of the first emails, the first email after our last meeting. Right. Um, so it would have been sent out on January 21st. Yeah. I woke up at five and it was seven. Something. Yeah, get up pretty early. Yeah. Um, Georgia, Thornhill, Forward, Amherst Coastal County. I Council. could pull it Easy. up, but then I think I lose. Do I lose seeing you if I do that? Um, if you square share your screen, you will. We I, can I can share it. I think. See each other. Because it is kind of critical. Um, is is this list also at the end of our panel books? There yeah, is. Who is, needs it? Because I can email you. Oh, there we go. Thank you. So the grants denied were for seven R's, Jesse Green, Stockwell Do Your Art, Isabella Delolio's first grant proposal for Greg's Doors, the infamous English Tutor blog, mm -hmm. the theater ticket access project um, because it takes place in 2022, uh, Kenneth Harris, which was prime time, you know, scamming prevention. The Whipple and Morales, who were coming here from the Cape. Lorna Ritz, we thought was too small a group. And then the theater project out in Pittsfield. Right. Um, and I kind of, I wanted to report back on Elizabeth Polveri who's yep. doing the I Am Still a Man. Um, oh, I, yeah. yeah. I spoke with my coworker, Amanda, who had worked with her a couple years ago. And, and I also kind of took a closer look at the way everything is set up for that grant. And you know, mostly because a lot of red flags were going off for me. And, um, and I was feeling uncomfortable both the large amount of the grant and that um, she hadn't sent any kind of, of um, confirmation that the public art committee, it's not a commission, it's a committee, mm -hmm. uh, which I have been on before, had, had not approved it or sent her any kind of confirmation that the space that she's proposing to use to us is actually available. I also was feeling uncomfortable in that UMass won't, won't be able to invite people from the town to come and visit anything on campus. Mm -hmm. um, and a little bit in that she, I've looked at her, her, uh, I feel like she's she is not a maker. Um, she's very, very, um, I want to say she's very committed and really passionate about civil rights and, and racial rights and all kinds of things. And so I, I feel like she's impressive that way. Mm -hmm. But this project really does um, kind of take off from another much more famous project. Um, and I, I feel like I would like to deny at this point and ask that um, if she does want to do it badly, <laughs> that she solidify her, her venue and that it get approved by the public art committee. Um, I'd like to leave that on their doorstep because they're the ones that are, that if they make the approval, they can look at her a little more closely than we can. Um, around the, the concept of the exhibition. Um, so that's, and, and Amanda feels like, she, you know, they worked with her for a little bit on some promotional stuff and we didn't see her very much. So mm -hmm. she, she threw a few ideas out for us, but then wasn't really terribly involved in following through on things. Disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, and I feel like the grant feels a little bit like that too. It's not very fully developed. I don't feel the project is fully developed and her ducks aren't in a row. And I, I just feel like that's a lot of money to give to somebody for a project that's supposed to start next week. <laughs> so, and, right. uh, and it, it just, uh, I don't, I don't know. That's my, that's my gut feeling about it. Okay, well, we'll that it'll come up 
as we go I'll come through. up later. But, the, but the, thank you for going into that so closely. Okay. Okay. Before we go through, I've been trying to now transpose the grants denied over to the chart to make sure it all lines up. I don't have a page 282 Kenneth Harris. Oh, that was um, way at the end. So, yeah, but um, I think I just want to be sure around two. Oh, sorry about that. that that's okay. 280 may have been. I think it was 482. 285, yeah. the yeah, creative just, outspoken entrepreneur. I think that's. Well, it's, Oh. Kenneth Harris, 2100. Sorry about that. But I, I wonder if there wasn't another one, 285, with the creative, outspoken entrepreneur, blah, blah, blah. I think you I also said that we would zero that, that one. I or think we did. Fixed it or not. We said no on that one. Oh, okay. you did? Okay. That wasn't on the list. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I that... took it from the list, so it had to have been on the list. No, it's not? I don't think it was on the denial it means list. It's on the denial list. list. If not, then why did I have? Oh, I actually have a note saying questioning whether or not we had done that. So okay, sorry to interrupt, but I think so, I've got all of them now. Okay, I'm, I'm so gonna... Kenneth Harris, did we say no? No, he's because, yeah, he's okay. doing puppets about scams or something. I don't know. It's oh, so we not, said not appropriate. I was also okay. just wondering. I know when we talked about the play like Canary in the gold mine or whatever, people, it was like still kind of ambiguous because we weren't sure just like if we should be funding that type of promotion of science that we don't know if it's right. I don't know. People said they were going to look into it more. Um, I just was, was that one of the ones people were saying might be denied as well? I that think. might be denied. I, I don't think we were. Um as definitive about it as we could be. Okay. okay. Let's just start at the top. Those will resurface. I just tried to capture what were some obvious ones. Um, so I can stop sharing now, Gigi? Do you still need this um, list up there? Um, oh, let me just let me just run through the, I guess, I guess not. Okay. The fully fund list is pretty long, but we'll get down to That's it. That's right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's start with live from the sanctuary. Um, uh, I wrote down six, or sixty percent, which would be three hundred. Yeah, see, I think we can go up from that at least I think four hundred. Um, I agree. I, That's what I put down for. I do. I agree. Okay. Does someone want to keep a running tally? You all know that. I, I am. I'm. I'm on it. I, I'm okay. Last year. Thank right. you. Okay. You're so good. Um, the Go children's ahead. songs and singing games. Wait. So we're saying four hundred. Yep. Four hundred for the live from the sanctuary. Okay. So. Children's songs and singing games. Um. That's Roger Tinknell, who's done lots and lots of programs. He's asking for 500. We thought that was a little bit high because it's a one shot thing, but. Right. And to be consistent with other. Right. So maybe 300 instead of 500. I think 350, yeah. maybe. I think we're doing like 350 okay. for a lot of single. That sounds fine. And we can do this and run the numbers and see how oh, it all yeah. goes. If and then we can early. add 50 and take off 50 if we, you know. Um, a yeah. walk in two parts, they're asking for 500. Um, this oh, one in, like in a lot Northampton. For what it was. Oh, that's the one in Northampton. Yeah. yeah. That, Campaign, yeah, that takes place in Laurel Park. Laurel Park, right. <clears throat> and I'd be happy to fund 20%, you know, of what they asked or maybe a little more. It's only hundreds. Yeah, so how about, how about 150? Oh, that's, 
that sound okay? Yeah. None of us are excited. Real Live Theater presents. Podcast. Uh, I give this one 500. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, we can afford more for that one. I I I like what they do. Let's give it a little more then. I had them at 750. This like was one that we thought about reaching out for accessibility if we want to start flagging those too. Right. Well, 750 is fine. I really think we have plenty of money. Okay. And that one I should put, should I put like a star for disability we could reach out? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> So, okay, so standing community is gallery A3. They're they're a pretty right. bread and butter visual arts organization, you know, for town. Right. Um I they for this much money, but I feel like if we can afford it, it'd be great to give them some more than than what we've usually done. I agree. Uh, I had them at 3500 yeah. Not even, which would make it, I think, our largest grant. Yeah, yeah by far. That's... I, I, personally, I would go up to 4000 if only because what it's doing is yeah. leaving yeah. the members who are artists from yeah. having to pay yeah. so much for rent and stuff like that. And I think they're having a hard time. Um, I'm sure they're having, everybody's having a hard time, but it is one of the gems of our community. Yeah, I'd go 4,000 if we have it. Yep. Yeah, I'd love to do four. Wow, okay. Um, so by far, the, I think the highest we've ever gone by, by far. So, you know. Yes. It's been did. an extraordinary year. Extraordinary year, and we have fewer yeah. members than sure. normal. Member. And APAC is the other organization um, that is another visual arts is the Amherst Public Art Commission, the ones that are wanting to refurbish the sculptures, the silhouettes, and we fully funded them. So this feels this feels good. Yeah, for 15. We're really covering a lot of this, you know, our bread and butter for visual arts. Yeah. Really um, the children's choir tuition assistance, we kind of said this time, that's $400. Yeah, that's the fully funded one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need to um, leave, but um, thank you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, we may not be finished tonight. I'll if, okay. if we don't meet tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure we'll meet tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See ya. Hi, Sydney. <clears throat> Dancing. Thanks, Sydney. Um, so, home sweet home. Um, they're asking for sixteen hundred. Um, what do people think about that? Mm -hmm. I thought they were asking for a, a lot. It's a lot to put on a presentation like that. We, we uh, said earlier half funded maybe better. Okay, on a Zoom. Uh, it will take place at the I'll call you after it's done. Are we on Empowerment for the Arts? Pardon me? Are we on Empowerment for the Arts? Hmm? Or did I miss one? Oh, Children's Choir Tuition, we agreed full last week. And then the next one, which is the musical pathway thing. Well, right. And so we're on the next one. Yep. Okay. And they asked for 1600 climate yeah. and music. This is one of the ones that I bumped up to full funding, actually, simply because it's happening in, in Amherst at the Hitchcock Center, um, something that's close to home. Good. Kids. 
climate, science, art. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we climate, climate as a group to at least agree. you have climate, fund it. Public science, and that's important to fund. So, okay. Yeah, the public science. Go with that. So full? What number is that then? That's page 61, 419. Um, saying okay. sixteen hundred for that one. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, snapshot. I think it's number seven. I think. Uh, had it down as full funding. Mm-hmm. Uh, Four hundred. So we have Elizabeth Pagburn down for two grants. Is that kosher? No. No. What's her second one? I never could find it. I thought it's the third one down and the one we just, the one we oh, were going to fund oh, up it is. 50. How did we miss that? Good job, Jenny. The walk to parts, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Darn. So then should we not, let's not fund the walk and do the other one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, agreed. Choice. Back completely. I thought I saw her name twice, but then I could never get back to it. Yeah, I thought I did too, and then I just realized I saw them both there and like, uh-oh. So she's the person <laughs> trying to walk in two parts? <clears throat> she's the one who has applied I know that there are more people involved in that. So, um, welcome to part. Yeah, but if she's applied, then it's her. Yeah, we should check that. Page Applicant name, Elizabeth Sanger. But the email is the theater truck. Yeah. Applicant type unincorporated, not individual. Yeah, theater truck is the other um, organization. So, well, whereas number eight, it's her email, also unincorporated. So, yeah. Well, guess what? That's not going to work. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, so the walk into parts is out. Oh, I think shape, yeah, snapshot of shapes is better. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what you, you your instinct was to fully fund them that that one. I think I missed that meeting. Okay. Well, it's only 400, so mine as well is to fully fund. So number page 24 has to go on the denial list. Oh, I think they're both, are they both for the same amount of money? Um, no, one was 400, the other one was 500. Yeah, so. And the one we're keeping is snapshot of a shape shifter. Yeah. And we so and fully funding that one four hundred. No, that's what we'd agreed to do. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Thank you, Jenny, for catching that. You're welcome. Okay. Um. <laughs> In opera. He's asking for a thousand. Will this also be um, something we'd put on the list for accessibility? Sure. Could be. Yeah. I had him at 600. That's what I had as well to cover the space rental. Pretty hef hefty. Let's let's keep it at six hundred. Okay. Amherst, do your art. I believe was denied. That one's gone. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Uh, Nuestros Caminos. I guess I'd like to fully fund that. Since it's at yeah. Yeah. I have down as much as we can. Whoa. Mm. 3,000? Yeah. That's fully fund. Um, okay, so here we are, Canary in the Gold Mine, which is the one with the problematic science, I believe. <laughs> I'd like to deny it wanna... unless we have more information. Yeah. Um, I I get medical update stuff every day from reputable journals, and um, there really isn't any science showing it. I'm not saying it doesn't have an impact, but um, I don't think the way this guy's presenting it is is particularly accurate yeah. is this actually especially with covid G or 5g or something mm -hmm. 5g yeah 5G, yeah you know and all we've gone through with covid19 and mystical science yeah mm -hmm. we have to be careful um what what which one of our guidelines does this not fulfill Promoting science. That isn't science. <laughs> it's actually a tough one to reject because it's a play and it's written. I mean, I want to reject it, but it becomes harder because there's so much art. Yeah. So well, it's comedy too. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it goes down yeah. easier. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> Well, so I, I remember a long discussion about this, um, and I was actually in your boat, Julianne, of sort of like, I would like to reject it, but it may have an aesthetic value, and maybe it'll trigger a good conversation. I thought Cole raised a number of, well, several people raised a number of strong points around the lack of a comprehensive science foundation here, that they have one person with an MD or PhD behind their name. It's not as though this is like a comprehensive scientific approach. But um, the thing for me that sort of sealed the rejection letter and gave Gigi the the piece that. Uh oh, we lost, him. Uh, oh, we lost you again. Hear you. It was just. <laughs> I know, he was just going to say that. You write my letter for me. <laughs> oh, you can give him 50 bucks and. Matt, you put out again. Again. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> you lost me. Can you're you back. hear me now? Yeah. yeah, you're just, yeah. You said the thing about the letter is, uh, this is what I was going to put in the letter. And the, this project is not going to happen. Literally, Co is not going to accept it if we don't fund it. So the Co letter, the quote unquote letter of support that Co wrote actually says, um, you know, if they can raise money, we will we'll be on board. So, so Co is not yet truly on board this project. So I don't think that they have sufficient support to actually get this thing off the launching pad unless we're the ones who provide the funds to make it happen. And to me, that's that's a red, huge red flag. So they don't have a home unless we fully fund it, is your interpretation. That's how I read it. Interesting. Okay. okay. The only, well, where are they gonna raise the additional 6,300? Is what you're saying? Yeah. What I'm saying is, I'm just flipping to find the letter. Um, what I'm saying is the letter from Co, which is on page uh, 114. If you look at page 115, the second page of the Co letter, it says, well, we're delighted to provide a home. Uh, we recognize this is an expensive proposition. We wish we could support the full process, but alas, the artists whose work we need to present have to develop it on their own. Um, I urge you to provide this team with the financial resources they need to bring this to its full potential. So I, I read this as being Co is not financially supporting it. The question would be like, we, I think people are talking about we could give them a hundred dollars and hope it falls through. But then it's like, if in a few years it comes out that the science was like really inaccurate and misleading, we might not want our name like behind anything. I feel so strongly yeah. about not having our name on this. I'm glad that Matt's giving us this interpretation so that 
they can always come back and challenge us. That's true. They can. So, and then if it really came down to that, you know. As in my years with it. If there was a, a panel discussion about the issues as part of this or a workshop. I'm really worried about false, of false science. I just. Well, that's why I'm saying if there was a, a discussion or a workshop, but there isn't. So I, I think, unless I missed it. Um, no, and we can't make that happen. So. No. And, and so I. Let's check them and see if they're motivated to appeal, which they probably aren't. Yeah. No. I, I think we can move on. Um, so are we, are we saying zero? No, and we'll find a reason? Yeah, I, I, I think reason. it's not science. <laughs> it purports to be science, but it's not. Uh, it's tricky, and it may get, this may be the one that get, needs reconsideration, but that's not going to kill us. Um, edible wild plants walk. He's asking four fifty. Uh, I only had two fifty, but looking at it and looking at everything that's out there, is this one we should fully fund? I can't re remember why we didn't. Yeah, I, yeah I, I voted to fully fund it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I agree. I like this one. I like John, what he does. We've got to fund something. Yeah, I, I could support fully funding it. Me too. I like this Thank one. <clears throat> Namers, it's closed. And it's obviously, the probably will go. One gets. They only ask for three fifty, so we give them three fifty, right? The mystery of missing music. Yep. What do we have on the next one? Yes, I have it down. Well, right. Well, Working together, mending air. Uh, That's Yu Pong Lin. Yeah. I so, gave this one thirteen hundred because I thought it was a, a very strong proposal. Okay. We said as a group, definitely at least half, and I think you know we could support. Well, let's go up to fifteen hundred then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we have Amherst Cinema. Um, we had that down as full funding. And the next one, too. Yep. And yep. then the next one is after that is a zero for the Craig's door. Gone. And then the Amherst Walks is fully fund. Yep which takes us to the Arcadia players. Right. right. How are we doing on okay, wait. So, uh, total? We have, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the money. So um, of our grant pool now with the 2,500 deducted for the accessibility, we have 4,300 and change to allocate. Right now, as far as where we are, there's still 7,000 um, available over and above what we've confirmed and the averages coming up on the sheet. So we don't, I don't think we really have quote 7,000 because I think some of the averages are really low, but there's money. Okay. Yeah. But only 7,000? No, we have more than that. Over and above of what's that, not on that the sheet. Over of the full funding, right? Yeah. Okay. So Arcadia players, we normally have given them in the past a thousand. Um, maybe wait, maybe fifteen hundred. Okay. Yeah, it's still a pretty good chunk. We're on. I I had them at a thousand. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm a little confused. What are we on? Which one are we on? Page forty seventy-seven. Page. People are coming in and out. What page are we on? Then I'll just go there. One seventy-seven. Yeah. Seventy. Oh yeah, one seventy-seven. Yeah. Thanks. 
Thanks. Okay, it is. Okay. Now I'm put up. Are we moving on then? Yep. The next one was fully funded. Oh, yep. good. Okay. Um, um, becoming. No, oh, I'm lost. Oh, yeah, the senior center. Okay, plague wedding. Yes. Yes. Oh, plague wedding. Plague. That was. I mean, this one at half. Okay. So, did anybody. Um, the plague wedding, did anybody else go back and look at some of the other materials that were in that submission? I. I did not. I did not. I, I had them at 500. I yeah, like that's that was a big... what I had. Hmm? 500. Yeah. Charmont was full. Theater access is zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I, I hadn't gotten that one. All right. He's asking for 1,000. Um, with them that was, was where the stipends were payment, and Shoshona King did get back to me and said, Yes, that is the case. Um, and she, you know, will be looking at one of the town parks, she hasn't lined that up, but I think you know that'll be pretty good. So, can we fully fund since it's in Amherst? I think it's nice to fully fund it, I think that would be a really big boost. And um, I'll just have to remind her that it's not for food. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I missed one. This one's okay. I think that'll be good. And uh, great. Okay, seven R's. So it's a full funding. Huh? It's full funding, Shoshana. Yes, for for uh, the jump. Yeah. Said nothing. You said no for the next one. No, they're out. Restoration of poetic full dialogue is full. Musical the musical. Um, this was the kids at PV PVPA. Yeah. Yep. I think if oh, we this is full. I'd like to let's fund it fully if we can. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, I like hearing a young voice say yes. Mm -hmm. Rites of passage. Mm -hmm. That was a zero. Oh, that's easy. Where did that come did in? It? Yeah. That's the one in. Yeah. Oh, that's Pittsfield. Yeah. Okay. Zero. Yeah. Great, but. Well, that's... And fully right. fund um, right. arts. Um, yeah, it's fully fund. Yeah. Which one are we fully funding? Full time yeah. arts. Okay. Yeah, I'm just yep. going. Resilience. Um, Oh, that was that creative something or another. Creative okay. entrepreneurs, outspoken CEO. Yeah, we did. We rejected that, didn't we? Okay. Yeah, I think we said no. Okay, that's the one I didn't have on the list. Mm -hmm. And then che chainsaws and cheeseburgers is no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, so, river stories for the valley classrooms is that's. Nolan Beck. Yeah, Nolan Becker. Yeah. Love that. Um, I think we've got the money to fully fund this one if we want to. I think we should. Again, yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. Senior theater is um just what do we decide? Anything over there? Not yet. Um, um that is a stipend for him, um, but it's a multi, it's not a one day thing. It's rehearsals and getting the seniors together and so on and so forth. 
Right. That's a lot of work for very little money. He gets uh, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of work. For putting that at full? Full show on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the duo pianist, that was zero. Yeah. Yeah. Next one, um, Clear Creek Collective. That was fully funded. A co? Yeah. Yep. 1800. And the next one after that is fully funded. We fully funded UMass? Yep. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, the African Music Virtual Teaching Program. Um, okay, so. That was the one with 10 sessions. Yep. Right. We're not set up yet, but. I think it'd be great to support him. Yes. Or her. Him. It's to him. I, I had it at 750, which may still be high. Well, oh, we have a I, lot of money left over. We could do a thousand and, and five performances all together. I'm sorry, what did you say, Jenny? I, I was thinking, you know, if, if no less than a thousand and see what he could put together for that. He okay. might, you know, he might end up getting five performances right. in, but that seems like a, a good chunk of. Yeah, I, I would support this one, and and I would support a full funding if we have if we have available funds. I mean, I think this is yeah. if we an do. exciting project. The only thing, if folks have reservations about, it's not a fully baked plan yet, so I I don't think it would be unreasonable to go back to him and ask for. Uh, a more detailed plan if folks have reservations because we haven't worked with them before. But I think that the quality of the work and the um, the cultural diversity and and just yeah. I just think it's it's a high value project that we should fund if we can. Okay, let's try it. You want me to put it in for two grand? Put it in for two grand. Yeah. That sounds like a good have money. Orchestra in the orchard, we fully funded that, right? Yep. Yes. Along with the next one, the Valley Jazz Voices, fully funded. And also um, the next one after that. Big fully. band. Yeah. yeah, big band, guys. And did I tell you all what the what one of the plans for the North Common is for next summer in terms of oh. mowing the grass? No. If it's still necessary, oh yeah, they can mow all of that grass in six foot squares. Oh, so there'll be six. There'll be one square that's mowed. The adjacent one is tall, and then it'll look like a checkerboard. <laughs> but it'll keep people apart and give pods a little place to sit. You know. Anyway, I thought that that's was actually cool. really cool. Yeah, I think it is. It's so interesting how like architecture is beginning to develop around COVID. <laughs> oh, it's or, like grass happening. Okay, Caribbean connection. <sighs> They're not here, but I'd like to give them a decent amount. Okay, two thousand. One thousand. I had them at one thousand. They're definitely not here. Is the thing. Right. Right. Well, if, if we only give them 1,000, I'm afraid we won't be invited to the house party. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'm going. I know where it is when. We know where she lives. Yeah, we've got yeah. <laughs> uh, crash, Are you saying we're crashing the house party? For, uh, <laughs> That's what you give her a thousand bucks, you can crash. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't care the friend I am. Yeah. So what are we saying, a thousand? Out of three, full splendor is fully funded. Find your happy place. I think people really like that, so I think that. Yeah, that was the one. I think the money is mostly going into getting buying or providing uh, materials for people. The first twenty people. It doesn't seem like a lot. Yeah, it's not much. 
No. Where? And then the drawing that was Lorna Ritz, and we put zero. Drumming was fully funded at 200. Yep. Racial justice, 100. Yep. English tutor blog. Now, are you sure you don't want to reconsider this? Nope. I really don't. <laughs> I think that was sarcasm, right, Gigi? I think so. Uh -oh. miles. That's what I hate about Zoom. Um, Wednesday folk traditions. That'd be fully funded. Fully funded it. Okay, thousand. Yeah, I am still a man. That was what we just talked about, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. and that's just my opinion too. So I'm just bringing that information. Oh, now. I I want to speak out as to you know I was supportive of it conceptually, but it it rang all my bells the first time I read through as being yeah. off. And yeah, you know, I, I'd be fine to reject it. Um, Jenny, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Would, would the UMass Public Art Council, is, is that what it is, Public Art Council? It's a committee, really. It's committee? Not, not active. So it's, it's it, yeah, so. Would they be able to give out funding for this? I'm worried that no. this might be a very cool project that could actually happen. And if we don't fund it at all, then it just dies. Because it's supposed to go through them to get space at UMass, right? Yeah, that's it's they they have they have a and I found their application and everything and I know you know Simon Neem, who is the head of the library, looks at the applications, but I you know as a committee, I don't think we've ever been asked to look at anything, so I'm not sure what really even happens. Um, there, I think it, there's a positive like yes, we want things like this to happen. Um, but I think that I'm, and the, the process of the committee hasn't been fully kind of utilized. So I, I don't, it kind of, I feel like it kind of gets stuck and <laughs> um, they're going to have to get themselves together in order to really review and figure out what they want to do with this. And I mean, it, it the applicant um, clearly says the only other organization that will be involved yep. is a requirement. Yeah. So the requirement because she can't just put things up. She has to get approval. Yeah. I would argue for funding this with a thousand dollars, maybe maybe seven hundred and fifty, which is a, not the full amount at all. And if if it doesn't work out, then we get that money back next year. And if it does work out, then it does something good. Yeah, you could do that. I'm just, I'm a little bit worried. It just feels like the whole project centers around like black male identity. And so it feels a little bit weird that it's not run by anyone who has any of those like a little weird, identities. Yes. Yeah. No, a little and, and well, is she just producing it? Or is she, I mean, like it exists and she's the one who's going to get it out into the world or is she yeah. doing she is, the theme like, of it? She's a photographer, and they're mostly her friends. Um, okay. And you know, when when you look at the application, um, she wants to have these them on the on the windows, right? Um, and then on the back side, it says what their dreams are. We don't see what their dreams are in the application. Like I don't know if she's done that work yet. You know, there it, it seems incomplete to me. Um, uh, sure. Good word. Incomplete. It's not, oh. not possible for the public to consume the art during COVID. Right. With known limitations and with the university, particularly not even wanting vehicle traffic. Right. Um, and then so, you, you wouldn't be able to see their dreams. They're just pictures of. Yeah, they're just yeah. pictures. And so unless she, you know, she, she alternates them, but then half of them are lost. You know, half of them are inside and half of them are outside. And just whoever is in the building, which is limited these days. Um, and we don't even know that she'll be able to display them. Right. And we don't know if she can display them. I feel like it would be stronger if she were to wait mm -hmm. and to get the full approval and, and build some, you know, build some momentum around them, some PR around them. She, if she needs to be questioned and certainly she, 
she may get questioned about being a white woman trying to represent under an underserved population. She needs to be um, prepared to ask, answer those questions. So it may make for a better project down the road. Um, um, kind of have the advantages that she's going to be working with us again. <laughs> so I'm not so, going to tell her that I know anything about it, but um, if she needs help in, with respect, in the respect of, of getting this together, she has us as a resource. I, I asked this question, I think, when the first time we discussed this proposal about like the whole um, permit permitting and, and things like that. So Matt, I have a question for you with, did you have a similar reading of this application? Like, in a similar way to what you said earlier about the canary in the gold mine one, where it's like, if there's no money, it's not going to go ahead. And so it's kind of like a catch 22. Did you, did that kind of come across your radar at all with regards to this? Well, proposal? I think I had red flags um, in, in a similar fashion, like, look, we would be the first ones, the first body to stamp our seal of approval. Mm -hmm. I think Jenny's insights into the campus, um, I think that's, for me, that makes Cindy's, uh, Gigi's letter kind of easy to write in the sense of, you know, the, the public performance of this is just not set. And it's not viable and right now. Yeah. Between, not viable. You know, between the 10 of us or nine of us, what Leah said, you know, that's, that's my, my core objection. My core concern is I, and I think Jenny put it well, you know, we would want to, that's a genuine concern question for her. And if this is a, this is a quality piece that she needs, she would need to be ready to answer that. And we just don't have any indication that she's done, she's done that work yet. So um, very quick point in a normal grant year, which I've only been through one, but it's clear Isabel, this would have been rejected in the, the first week early on without that that documentation right. saying, yes, we've it's going to be here on these dates, we've accepted it. So I, I don't think we have to bend over backwards especially since she's not suggesting a virtual slideshow, you know, or, or, she, there's no, none of that's there. So I think it's easy. And I think you're right. It could be better. Okay. With a little pushback. Moving right along. So that's a no. That's a no. Oh. Um, I love the idea. I think a lot of us love the idea, but. Absolutely. And we should be, be promoting um, underserved populations right. as white people. We should be doing that. If I could just yeah. extend right. the project we, one last time. It. Much better. Cole, go ahead. I think, so I, I think that there are a lot of criticisms that are very important that I've heard that are, that are good criticisms. Um, the one about whether or not the, those are quest questions that she's able to answer. I mean, I, I don't know if we can really if we should be declining it based on that, because we don't know if she's able to answer those questions. No. And we don't really ask that of any of the other people that we fund either. There are questions about all of these pieces of art that they're gonna have to answer. Um, you know, we don't really ask them to, to answer those questions, like whether or not it's, it is um, artistically viable, whether or not it's ethical in like those very specific ways for any of the other artists. And the other thing is that I don't know, I don't know if we can say she can come back to us and ask for, for money later, because um, that would be a year later and she's a student and there's a, a fairly good chance that one her life will have changed doing other stuff or two, she won't be in Amherst anymore. Um, and the last thing is people aren't able to go to UMass and see but there will be thousands of people living on campus at UMass next semester, from what I understand, um, and they'll be able to see it. I, I think that this could still happen if we fund it at a, at a small fraction of what she's asking for. And if it doesn't happen because anything falls apart, the project isn't well developed, then the only detriment to us is that $500, $750 of our money isn't used for a year which I don't think is that big of a deal this year, especially when we have not really a glut of money, but we're funding things quite a bit. Uh, Cole, I appreciate what you're saying in the sense that it's almost like 
it's, I guess, as a council, whether or not we want to be taking this risk, really, right, of, of supporting a project and, and potentially opening up a conversation, um, which we cannot really control or direct. And I think I, I, I agree with what Jenny was saying about it's like the concept and other people have said the concept is great, but we um, have reservations about the execution, given the right and the implementation, given the the current realities, I guess. And um, but I really appreciate the fact that Cole is stating his strong support for this. And um, I, I I don't know what you all want, you know we all want to do about yeah. the grant itself, but um, I, I support Cole's position. I guess that's what I wanted to say. I appreciate Cole's point of view, and and it's certainly something that you know could could sway. Just thinking as far as the number of, of students that are on campus and and the dialogue that needs to happen. I wish I had more confidence in this person's ability to deliver it, but um, that you know we did support the UMass um, installation and funded it fully, even though campus isn't open. But you know there were the posters going out to the public and a lot of other things. So. I could go one way or the other on this, you know, with some sort of token funding. But again, you know, in a normal grant year, we wouldn't even have to consider. So um, we could we could put all that in the letter. Like if you know, it's kind of like we're we want to support this initiative, right? But under normal circumstances, what Julian just said. Going that way hmm? in the denial letters. Yeah, I mean, if a follow up um, from like Jenny would be great you know here is what you could do to do it better next year but the denial letters really have to be focused on the real essential problem and this one is um if unless the conversation and a, a vote on it goes differently is that um, it's not fully planned and it doesn't have the approval of the university, which is absolutely critical. It can't go forward without it. Um, that's the root of it, really. That's, that is, that is, that's the reason for the denial. Um, I, I support that, Gigi, and, and it's true. All these other factors that we've been talking about are all worth thinking about and talking and, and Jenny doing a little bit of behind the scenes. All that is, is well and good, but the, the core denial, as Julianne said, I mean, you know, the core denial is that the project is not ready to, not to ready go. To yeah. It doesn't meet the criteria, especially since they didn't even try with a virtual component. Right. If she can turn it around with a denial that she's, she's given two weeks. Yeah. Come mm. back. Motivated say, listen, we'll I, That's why right. none, of, none of this will we'll vote tonight i guess we can vote tonight um we still have one thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars that i don't have allocated if i've done this correct but only a few left that's astonishing oh i went all the way to the no no we have even more because i have to deny this other one um right prime time prevention is zero didn't we say hilltown families was full or we didn't it wasn't on the list as full no it wasn't i don't i don't remember Hilltown families is 700. We, we, did, we did say it was going to be full, but it wasn't on the list. You're right. Okay. I don't so see why we went for 700. So then the next, yeah, that one and then the last one was on the list for fully funded. So that brings us to 1,826 is still in the pool for allocation. I can't believe we're that close. Um, does this anyone want to give the happen. Caribbean Festival more? Even even that so. Really? I, mean, I do. I do too. Can we give them another five hundred? I'm sorry, oh. I missed. I missed it. What are we voting on? One. Well, we're just talking about whether we can start going back. I, I like the Caribbean Festival and like to support them more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Fifteen hundred, if we can. That's their half. They're asked. Okay, so that's Caribbean connection. If they're at fifteen hundred. Who else has a pet project that wants that needs a little more love on here? Gosh, it seems like everything on the back page is fully funded if it's funded at all. <laughs> well, no, the Caribbean isn't fully, but well, um, well, not Caribbean, but but other than that, that's high. But 
shoot, I'm gonna go have, have to go look and see who didn't get mm -hmm. everything they asked for. Canada, well, gallery A3, no. we didn't fully fund. We've, I think we did fully fund them in the end, or no? I think we went to 4,000. Yeah. I've got it on the list, let me see. Um, I mean, we already gave them a lot of money. I think, we yeah. We have them at 4,000, I don't, else. I'd rather have someone else. Enough. Yeah, me too. So the other thing we can do if we don't find another project is the accessibility work, you know, I mean, that budget, there's no, you know, well, there's a max, but but there's plenty of space to spend funds there. Yeah, that's true. Can we give Roger Chingdow 400? Sure. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> okay. So how much oh, is left now, Julian? Uh, 1,276. Seriously? Yeah. Can we give more to the um, the project that uh, what is it called? The Walking Together, Walking Mending together. Tears. That's what I was thinking. Page one thirty three. Yeah. Oh, right yeah. now we have fifteen hundred. Is that correct? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They. You want to go fifteen hundred? Yep. How so much do you want to do? Yeah. I would. I I personally voted to fully fund them, but I don't know if anybody else did. So. I, I support that. I think it's a great project. And I I also want to say that the use of funds that she has in mind, which is to pay the folks who yeah. are going to be the walking ears, whatever, I forget what that even is, but oh, it oh seemed right. like it was the work. Okay, paying well, those totally folks. Okay. Yeah, pay, paying those folks is a good thing to do. Yeah. Seven hundred and six fifty. Great. That's great. So it seems like we have 200 and something dollars left i have 726 what did i miss All right about that two sorry yeah we could give arcadia players a little more mm -hmm. i don't know what do you want to bump them up to 1500 we have okay. that much left all right so we have 225 left <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. I just want to warn you that it's four minutes to six thirty, and I have to end the meeting on time because I have to leave this building. So ah uh, ah uh, okay. So uh, are we not giving anything to the I am still a man project? Is that has that decision been made, or are we yeah. still discussing that? It's been made. I, I wasn't clear based on. Yes, it was made. I think so. Um, there's a recital film that we're giving 600 for, and they asked for a thousand. We could give them the extra 225. Okay. Do you know who who the applicant was for that? Alan Schneider. Probably. Uh, okay. Let's see. Two minutes. Sir. Three minutes. Is it? Oh, you're breaking up. Yeah. To, to vote on these. We're not going to be able to vote. If no. it's gonna okay. be we're going to have to meet tomorrow and we'll tidy up this. Okay. I so can we'll send this out to tomorrow. Everyone. Pardon me? I can send this out to everyone so we all have to. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. everybody can uh, look can at you it. Hear me? Yeah. And I would appreciate if anyone wants to check, if anyone else wrote numbers down, please somebody check my work. Okay. okay. Yeah, I wrote numbers down. Okay. Good night. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody else. Thoughtfulness.